Good evening everyone. It's Wednesday evening and I am just trying to get finished off spreading the bit of fertiliser. Uh, as I said in last night's video, I had a wee bit to spread today. Uh, just giving the first dressing on our, our winter barley. Uh, I've got 28 acres done already in another plot of land and just doing this bit here now there's about 12 acres in this field so yeah just trying to get it get it finished off now before it gets down. Uh, using the the 6.4, first time it's been off the diet feeder in <laughs> since about last November. Um, so yeah, it's been it's it's out and about for the first time since that. And I am using our uh, newly purchased fertilizer spreader. Uh, well, we purchased it last year, last summer. So um, it's the first time we've used it now on on fertilizing the barley. Uh, it's working very well. Um, just spreading now at the minute, uh, putting on 380 kgs per hectare, it says it here on the screen. Uh, it's, probably, it's probably too small for you to actually see it, but uh, yeah, putting that on and there's a, we're down now to about 1.4 tonne of fertilizer in the, in the spreader itself. I'm using just at the minute, uh, there's a, a limiter on it uh, just to, to stop you from, uh, just to stop you from, uh, from spreading fertilizer into the ditch. So when I was doing the headline, I had it turned on. So I just turned it off now at the minute. I don't know if you can actually see it there or not. Uh, could be to, it's just whatever way the screen is, I'll tilt it there and see if we can get it to, to win on it. But you can, you can kind of see there, uh, there's what weight we have in it. It's 1.327 uh, kilos, uh, 1,327 kilos. And uh, as you can see here, this year's on full spread at the minute. Whereas uh, when the limiter's down, it's just spreading directly behind and a little bit to the side. So uh, it's hydraulically controlled the limiter. So to change it, it's just a matter of uh, move the lever in the right direction would help. And uh, it, it brings it on that's on the full spread then anyway. So uh, that's that's really it. It's yeah, it's very, it's very good, very accurate between the GPS and uh, on the spreader now, we should be very, very accurate. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and get turned around here because I want to, I want to spread up along the, the other ditch first rather than go down, rather than go down here. Uh, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a U-turn if I can reverse in on the tram line. Um, yeah, so it should be fairly accurate. Um, the, the way it works is that it works on the, the ground speed of the tractor. So, <coughs> excuse me, depending on what your forward speed is, uh, once you have the machine in operation, it'll then adjust the flow to suit your speed. So you bang in what meters you're spreading at, you tell us what, uh, what kilos per hectare you want to put on and it it does the rest after that so should be should be very accurate um ideally if you had it connected to the the gps the gps uh, if i had the correct cables and it set up properly it can actually work in conjunction with the the amazon control box and what it can do is uh, Depending then on where you are, it, it, there's an automatic shut off feature on this GPS that it sends a signal to, to close off when you get to your headland, or it'll also, uh, it can gradually close off. It's, it's sectional control, I think it's called. Uh, it can gradually close off or narrow in the amount of spread pattern that you have. Uh, just it, it would be a lot, a lot more accurate, a lot less fertilizer uh, wasted or uh, maybe double sewn if you like so uh, it's maybe something in the future that you look into getting working but uh, anyway for today uh, we're not we're not too bad we'll be able to work with what we have um, yeah so just gonna try and get get this spread now before before it gets dark it has been fairly cold today a little bit a little bit colder than the previous few days um, we've had a heavy fog and mist that came down this morning quite early probably around half nine ten ish and 
the temperature dropped by a number of degrees at that stage once it came once it came on, which uh, which was a little disappointing because we were kind of getting spoiled over the last few days with all the nice weather. But however, that's that's the way it goes. Uh, I'm going to set up the, the camera now just in a couple of different angles, try and get some of the some footage of the fertilizer spread out walking, or maybe just pop the GoPro onto a few places on the tractor. And uh, yeah, we'll come back at the end when we're finished.
So just pulling back into the yard now. As you've seen, we got we got finished up all right anyway, and all is now spread. So we'll just have to give the fertilizer spreader a little bit of a wash out, and uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be it for this evening. Uh, have I just turn this off? Uh, have a couple of small jobs to do. Well, we're in the dark now for a second. Now, so, uh, the spreader, we have a couple of wee jobs to do in the spreader. Uh, the greedy boards here, as you can see, there's there's three layers of greedy boards, as I call them, on it. And uh, we're going to take off one of those greedy boards and just leave two. Uh, two reasons. Uh, the first reason is when this spreader's full, it'll hold a uh, three tonne of fertiliser. So, uh, three tonne of fertiliser is a little bit much for the, the 6.4. I've had 2.8 in it and it wasn't full and I took it out, the, I filled it at a, a merchant's and was taking it home and the front of the tractor was was uh, rising off the ground every time it hit a, any little bump on the road. Uh, so very dangerous and we don't want to have it in the position that it'll even carry that amount. It'd be fine if it was on a 6 cylinder but we're not going to change this, we're going to leave it on the 4 cylinder. 4 cylinder is ideal for, for the kind of uh, operation we're running. It's easier on fuel, it's more manoeuvrable and it's it's fine. So we're not going to set it up on the 6.9, we're going to leave it on the 6.4. So we're going to take off on the greedy boards. So that'll be next week at some stage we'll do that. Uh, there's another reason also, this spread up when it was made. Uh, Amazon had a little bit of an issue with some of the greedy boards where they'd start to rust. And you can see it there, there's a couple of little bubbles of rust along there. Uh, some of the panels are fine, but there's a couple of them is, is rusted. There's another one at the back there somewhere as well. Um, so that's another reason why we, we're going to take them off. We're going to take them off. If any of them needs a little bit of touching up or tidying up or clean down or whatever done to them, uh, we want to do it now before they get before they get any worse. Uh, um, yeah, so that's that's a job that's going to happen next week. Uh, also for cleaning out cleaning it out, we wash the spreader every time we use it and. Uh, if we don't, uh, it'll 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 rust fairly quickly. But um, if it's a little bit lower, it'll leave it a bit easier too for cleaning out. It is, yeah, at the minute, you nearly need to stand up on a step ladder or something like that to to get in to wash it. So it'll just work better for us if if uh, a set of those greedy boards is taken off. So that's that's kind of uh, all that I have to report for today. Uh, we'll be doing that job at some stage next week and I'll take a bit of footage of that whilst we're doing it. Um, so yeah, don't know if there's any calves yet, just go check them now. Uh, and we'll see see what, what happens on that front. Hopefully there's none. We had enough last night that'll cover us for a, a day or two until we maybe try and get some of them out. So um, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to, to hit the, the subscribe button and the like button if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. Uh, yeah, so until tomorrow, see you then.